Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I want to cover all the different things you guys should consider before choosing your wedding DJ. So the first step is to reach out to us, whether that be a phone call, wedding wire, or email, and set up a consultation meeting. So in this consultation meeting, I'm um, gonna listen to you guys' thoughts, ideas, kind of get a budget for you guys, see what all you guys wanna do for your wedding, whether that be DJ, videography, photo booth, lighting. Um, we're gonna see kind of what you guys have in mind, expertise that we know, if we've DJed at the event before, what we know works best, kind of get an idea of what you're looking for. And then from here, we can put together a proposal. First part is seeing if this is a good fit. From there, I want to get an idea of how you see your day going. What are some stuff that you've seen at past weddings that you really want to incorporate? And what do you want to stay away from? So after we have our initial consultation, I'll put together a proposal for you guys. Uh, we have an online booking system, and this proposal will be sent to your email. Uh, you can go online, and you'll see everything that we covered in the meeting, the package that you guys want, uh, any additional add-on services will be on there. And this is a transparent form of communication, so that way you can see pricing, when everything's due, how much everything costs, anything else about your wedding in details will be listed in this online form and it just keeps the line of communication very streamlined. Now usually when we get about 60 to 30 days out from your wedding, this is usually when you have a pretty good idea of your guys' timeline. You have a bunch of the songs picked out, not all of them, but you have probably about 75% of the way done with all the forms. Then we set a site walkthrough. And what we do is we'll meet you guys at your venue, especially if I've never DJed there before. And then we'll meet with you there and usually any other vendor. So sometimes the photographer, the catering company. And this is our first chance to interact with some of the other vendors and start that you know open line of communication to make sure kind of everybody uh, knows who they're going to be working with if we have any questions of how we do different things and this is where we can communicate all the different things that we're going to be doing throughout the day where am I parking at where do I have to bring in gear uh, what rules and regulations that a particular venue might have where all my power supplies are going to be um, where am I putting speakers relative to, to all the tables? Do I have enough for my DJ area where everything's going to set up? You know, possibly where we're doing the grand entrance, uh, where our ceremony site is. So any logistics that have to do with the venue are going to be covered in this site walkthrough. Then the very last step of the process is the Monday before your guys' wedding, I'll go into your guys' forms and see what stuff is missing. If I have any questions, anything that is not clear to me, we'll set up a phone call and then this is where we knock out all the final details. So on the actual day of your wedding, we'll usually show up about three hours beforehand, uh, get everything set up, um, go over the timeline with the planner, um, get our ceremony set up, our reception set up, usually our lighting set up, find out where our photo booth is going, and then from there, it's game time and it's the start of the wedding. Thank you guys very much. If you guys have any more questions, click the link below and let's schedule a meeting. Thank you guys.